Good day and welcome to my YouTube channel. In our last lecture, we talked about how to customize a Zell access to bar. Today, we are going to be we are going to talk and discuss on basic important aspects aspect in a Zell workbook. In other words, before going into that, the first topic I'm going to talk about here is entering the test, how to ent enter a test to create a spreadsheet. We in on this interface you can all see that it's all blank. How will you able to enter a test on this interface? Before what I'm going to do is you, you double click on this on it on it on the cell by doing that you have you have already picked the cell then you can type in whatever you like let me say personal I'm entering a text and then it's a work it local Maybe okay. Let me say management. Okay, that's okay. Executive. Let me say executive here. Okay. Executive. Okay. Executive should be the term. Okay. Non-executive should be executive. Then followed by senior. Then the first contract. Okay. You can see that I've been able to enter a test on an Excel workbook here. So before you can do that, so you first of all double click on the on the cell. Then you start inputting your your various text into the inside the cell. You, you can also there are different ways you can perform that. You can as well click on this each cell, then start writing what whatever you want to write on the box through the formula bar, the, uh, through the function bar. Then you can say in the personnel record. You can see that. I'm updating the record then, but don't uh, don't don't bother because is you can see, you might be looking at the way it's coming into the next box, but nevertheless it's it is still maintaining the same box here. You can see still maintaining the same box irrespective of the way it shifted into the next cell here. Another topic I'm going to touch here is working with numeric data. I've already worked on the how to enter the text on the workbook here. Now let me maybe really comment how to put in a numeric data in an Excel worksheet. Now you want to input in it a, a, a numeric data of value and the zero sheets just pick any of the box here then all right let me see five twelve thirteen sorry five twelve thirteen four four five mm, let me see five again okay Mm, oh, let me make here to be let, let's call it descriptions descriptions okay descriptions let's let me call this one January mm, February March April okay, let me stop there 
me stop there. Let me answer. Okay, let me put a figure there. Six, seven, three, eight, eight, four, eight, five. Consider that I'm working. I'm inputting a numeric data into on this into the cell there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, six, three. In April, let me say nine, six, three, seven, five, eight, three. We can see that I'll be able to input a text on the so and as well we'll be able to input the numeric data on the zero now the next one is working with cell references cell references how you be able to reference each and every record here how we able to reference each and every record here if now you can see that I have my column here, column A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and and so on. And as well, we have I have my row one, two, three, five. Six. If I want to identify what uh, the five is, if I want to reference this cell now. I'm going to say it is cell C3. Cell C3. Here on the in the February. If I want to reference this particular figure on, on this so here yeah, I'm going to say C D3 and so on. That is how to reference data and then so in the, my next area to touch is, again is work like creating a basic formula in an Excel. Creating a basic formula in Excel is very simple depending on how you go about it. There are different ways you can work with uh, while work with a formula or, uh, or make if I get uh, make a formula on, on an Excel sheet. Okay. Let's let me let's work on on this on our our spreadsheet here. So let me say if I want to sum up all this value in January, I can as well. There's okay. Let me just give you some this is some major major errors some people normally make. Let me say let me let me show you something. Let me say equal to um, say five. Close twelve, close thirteen, close four, close four, close five, close five. That's it. It's giving all the total value here on this cell. But it's very wrong. Okay, let me show you something here. Yeah. What if I remove five here yeah, out of this box, out of this cell there? Let me remove the five. Does it make any changes on this cell? No. So telling me that the references is very wrong. References is very wrong. So in other words, in order to to make a very a good references to submit some of these data on the January. The first is to say equal to and what is the reference that is how the reference reference to five reference to five is C three and see it's a plus hmm? C four. I've been able to reference each and every one of them. You can see C five. Continue, continue, continue. Continue. Okay. So enter. It gives me for the same 
48. So what if I remove this 5 again? You can see that I'll be able to have a very good reference on niche on, on this particular sum. Okay. Let me show you another way you can as well go about this sum. Mm -hmm. Just pick the cell so here. Go to formula bar. Go to mass, math and trick. Look for sum here. Sum. Okay, I've seen it. You can see sum. So I'll be able to give me the total. So what I'm going to what am I going to turn? You pick the cell, you drag it down. You can see? Just press enter. That's another way you can get a sum. You can make a total sum of each and every element. Let's share a total. That's another way you can sum up a, a data value on each cell in this row. Okay. Um, thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye.